Dave woke me up in the morning to tell me a turtle had dug a nest right in front of the hotel. He keeps very detailed notes about his work with the turtles. First, he measured the tracks left by the mother and records the results. He then carefully probes the sand for a soft spot and told me where to dig. I was a little nervous when I was digging. I didn't want to damage the nest. As I pulled the sand away, I began to see the first of the eggs. I had no idea that one turtle could lay so many eggs. I haven't been counting, but what's the average, Dave? 120 to 130. In one nest. For her first nest, later on, she'll lay less, 90 to 100, and then the last nest, maybe 80 eggs. Holy smokes. So this nest must go back farther then. I'm just kind of hitting the top here. You're probably more than halfway. It's ready to go to the Vivero, or the incubator. Good, Good job. So what we have to do is dig the eggs out of the nest and put them here so they'll be safe from, from dogs and poachers. The biggest problem are, are the poachers, the men that come down and find the mother turtle while she's nesting and laying her eggs. When they kill one mother turtle, it's like killing 10,000 eggs. Dave, the, the owner here, he, he patrols the beach. The guy like nocturnal. He doesn't sleep. He just cruises up and down the beach uh, watching out for poachers and making sure the turtles come here and get away okay. So we have this nest dug in this protected area and we just take a couple eggs at a time really gently because they're not like chicken eggs. Like a chicken egg is pretty, pretty solid. These eggs are not. Um, it's kind of scary holding them because they're so soft. They're pretty tough. Are they? They're leathery. They're leathery, okay. So that's... It's unusual to find as many broken ones in a nest as we did just now. Yeah. Because I've... you can drop them and they won't break. Oh, really? These eggs that we've just transplanted to this new nest should hatch in about 45 days if we can keep the temperature up to around 30 or 32 degrees. And the sex of the turtle is not determined by X or Y chromosomes, it's determined by the temperature of the nest. And uh, the sex is determined in the final stages of the incubation by how warm or how cool the eggs are. Uh, what I've read tells me that uh, the temperature of 30 to 32 degrees produces females. 25, 26 produces males, somewhere in between will produce both. But because the females are the only sex that come, ever comes back to the beach and ends up in the soup pot, I assume there are a lot more male turtles out there than there are females. Of course, the males and the females are both indiscriminately killed by shrimp boats, harpoons, longline fishing, and everything else that will kill a turtle. The, uh, what we are trying to do is produce more females because one male can impregnate many females. And we're hoping this way that in 10,000 years from now there might still be turtles here. This is the nest that I dug up. I'm gonna count the eggs as I put them in the hole. Uh, and I just learned that if, if we didn't do this, if we didn't dig up the eggs and put them somewhere protected, 90% would be lost to poachers, and the rest would be lost to, to dogs and raccoons. So, really, a nest has, has no chance of survival unless people come along and take care of them. I'm gonna count all these as they go in the hole because uh, Dave keeps records of everything, and we measure them just to know the average size of, of the eggs in the nest. It's a cool operation. 
takes he takes good care of these turtles. Now I've lost count. So there's 89 eggs in my nest. I put them in there as carefully as I could. I think they're I think they're going to be okay. And 45 days, they'll make a break for the ocean. So you can come here and, like I did, and help with the eggs and, and save a nest. And there'll probably also be some turtles ready to go because they, in 45 days they're ready to go in the ocean. So not only did I come, not only did I get to come here and help with the eggs. But I also get to release some turtles. And that's kind of the most exciting part. Digging up the eggs and being stooped over a hole, that's not super fun. That's the work part. But watching these little guys swim towards the ocean, that's the rewarding part. Because they're so cute and they're so tiny, but they're fearless. They see those, those big waves, they know that that's home. So tomorrow morning, bright and early at high tide, these little guys are gonna make a run for the ocean. And uh, I'm gonna be there to help them along and film them. Amazing little creatures. And how big do these get? This one gets about 120 pounds. This goes from my fingertips to 120 pounds next time on Half Throttle.